All right. Unfolding the Garden, episode nine. Last week we looked at the builds through September 9th. second just I gotta find where I put all these uh, builds um. Yeah, so this would have been right after Tokyo Game Show, and I would have done... There we go. Okay. Aha. Here we go. Um, let's be. Hey. And the gargoyle. How's it going? All right. Let's um. So this is Relativity 2014, October 14th, 2014. So last week I talked about uh, I was at, I, you know, had this kind of bill with all the Japanese text and went to, um, went to Tokyo Game Show. This is month after I came back so I guess I, I might have been showing a similar one but I think I started making some changes based on what I saw there this was this would be um, gamer camp so October 2014 I, I, I wouldn't call it the golden age yet wow that's a lot of bloom uh, I guess I came back from Tokyo Game Show and I was like bloom it up Okay, so you can see we still have the same doors. Left click or A to interact. Oh, that was because you had to, you could play with the controller. Oh man, look at how slow this is. The balloon is very bright. This is not, uh, actually kind of not pleasant. Why playing Relativity? No, we're revisiting old builds of the game. 
I end up getting rid of the, the outline on these boxes. So yeah, you can see that this structure out here is quite, um, it's, I don't think it's laggy, it's just slow. Like my movement is really slow. It's not that fast. Uh, I, I eventually I sped it up. But you can also notice, um, if you look at this, look at how the um, outlines, the edge detection is getting drawn on top of the window. We eventually did, did fix that. Simbi, uh, unfortunately I do not have a way to skip these. Um, yeah, man, this bloom is like making, oh, you know what? There's also the depth of field. I don't know if you guys can see that. The blurring up there. It's actually kind of annoying. <laughs> uh, I had not added no clip. I did not add no clip until much later, way too late in development. Cannot no clip. Ah, zoom it. Zoom it. I thought you were talking about my game for a second. Oh, it just feels terrible. Okay, that's still missing a window. I talked about the use of windows. Um, So this was before trees. So actually it was playing here uh, that someone first suggested that, no, I no, I had the idea to, to replace this with trees already, but I, I was expecting you to like, I was gonna have you like shake the trees to get the cubes to drop. And then it was during gamer camp that someone suggested, you know what, you should make it so you can just pick the cubes off the tree like fruit. very slow uh, yeah look at all that uh, this was before the edge detection cleanup look at look at that um, and look at how noisy that is um, yeah this was before I sort of started improving the architecture for it to so that you could you know, the, the, you're supposed to use this to rotate down, but uh, it wasn't there. And look at how flat this is. I ended up making these steps because with level first person games, you want to avoid long stretches where that are really flat because it's, look at how boring this is, right? Because you can't, what it is, you can't see because there's no texture. It doesn't feel like things are moving. Like feel how fast it, like that is so much more interesting, right? when that that changes but this doesn't so it feels really really samey um don't worry you only missed a week because i didn't i wasn't here last week last week i wasn't able to do it so yeah we're starting to get more but you can see like you know again what i'll do is i'll show you guys the new build as i 
finish after I finish and that's um, what's really cool is you can see the edge detection like just look at that look at how noisy that is uh, and you can see it's all happening Oops. Uh, you can see it's all happening like along this line like they're very it's it's all happening along sort of where the the geometry meets uh, just look at how distracting that is uh it's a false positive in the shader um Basically, let's say this is two pieces, right? So let's say this is a block uh, and I have another block here. Now, imagine I bring these two right next to each other, all right? So here's this red block. Now, you can't see this face, okay? So they're right next to each other, but the way the edge detection does it is it, it compares normals. So if it's looking at this normal and this normal, they're different, right? Because this normal is going this way, this normal is pointing this way. Or the other thing to do is it can compare depth. So let's say I've got a cube here. Um, and in the background, I've got a cube much farther away. Right. And so this has a different depth value. So when it's comparing this value and that value, it's different and it's going to draw an edge. So in our case, when we have two blocks, so imagine this is two blocks here, that's the split. There is basically, it's a floating point error. So it's not, it's like, it's detecting that slight difference here as a drop, as a, it's actually what it is, is it's detecting the face in there. It's detecting this face normal and comparing that so it's a seam in the edge so the trick that i think i got around it was let's say i have two faces now so it was really small right so you're doing like a pixel comparison now ah here it is here's what's interesting so the, the unique property, let's say this is the face that we're looking at, okay? This is the, this is that gap in the middle caused by the floating point. So it's usually, we determined it was always only like one pixel. And this is the, the cheer technique. I don't know any other place that does it, but I'm sure it's very common. Though that has a false positive, you can tell it's a false positive because this side and this pixel, they're gonna have the same normal and they're gonna be really close in depth. So what you can do is compare this one with this one, this one with this one, and if they're the same value, that's a false positive. So it took me two years to come up with that. So that is the cheer technique for getting rid of false positives. Because you can tell it's happening really only when it's uh, when you're farther away, right? When it's not as accurate. And this just does not feel good. Like the movement is so clunky. Oh. Well, the noise, it's not, uh, it's not, it doesn't happen with all edge detection. I mean, that's, uh, it comes about, it's like very specific because of the geometry. Um, huh. Oh yeah, this is where when I would fall through stuff. This build is just like three years old. Yeah, like you have to have the geometry that's sort of set up like mine and built like mine in order to have it. Right? But you can see it's happening along like the line. So that's how you know. Um, oh yeah, notice, uh, notice the color change. Notice how it's instant. Notice how when I rotate, it lines me up with the new axis. So I can't come at it at an angle. Like look, it's gonna 
you know, put me along an axis. Um, oh, look at that. That blue looks like it's lit. Oh, anyway, I don't think I can keep playing this. There's... It's, movement is not very good. Well, actually, I think there might be some... Yeah, you know what? Let, let, let's skip ahead. Alright. So, that was Gamer Pink Amp. I got some good feedback. The main idea there was that, like, when I do the trees, I should be able to pick the fruit off the trees directly. So this was a month later, I went to practice in New York. Oh, looks like I kept the... I think I kept the Japanese motif for way too long. Oh, wow. Uh, you know what, I don't... I don't think much changed here. It's still way too bright. Yeah, just kind of looking at there are any significant changes? I don't think there's much here. Um, oh yeah, yeah, I couldn't even exit. The escape button did not work. So, um, yeah, it still has that problem. The Notice the edges are drawn on top of the window lines. And yeah. really bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. Anyway. Oh. Oh look, that's really bad too. Look at that. look at this whole wall. It's crawling with ants. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's skip ahead to This would be PlayStation Experience. All right, so I did uh, Gamer Camp. So I did Tokyo Game Show. So that year I went to like almost a show a month, right? Let's see. So we started off with IndieCade East in February, GDC in March, PAX East in April, Indie Popcorn in June, SIGGRAPH in August, Tokyo Game Show in September, Gamer Camp in Toronto in October. Practice in New York in November. And during Gamer Camp, I was invited by Sony to show the game at the first PlayStation experience. Uh, at the time, I did not have the game running on PS4 because, you know, he invited me like a month, two months before, but um, yeah, that's when we signed. We like we were planning the event, and about a month before the show, they were like, "Man, we haven't even licensed you to be a PlayStation developer, so let's 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 do that now." Uh, 
But anyway, I wanna, let's take a look at this. So we are, this week we did October up to December. And what I'd like to do is, oh, I think you can only play with controller. Uh, I might need a, a DualShock 4. But what I wanna do is I wanna um, check out the new build. And then I want to talk about the new art style that I want to, or planning on it. Maybe. Look how long this took to load. I always have to make small talk with people. Actually, you know what? It's not going to work. I need, um, I need a DualShock. Okay, how's the show going so far? There we go. Oh, okay, must have hard coded the DualShock Four controls. All right, so you're you're moving a little faster. I remember I got really depressed at that show. Nobody knew about the game. But I got to meet John Blow. No, I met him at practice. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he played the game and, and gave me some really good feedback. <sighs> so, I think we're gonna be seeing the same stuff, I don't think. Yeah, it doesn't, I don't think I fixed that. Oh no, yeah, I did. So check that out. Like you can now rotate at an angle, right? That that was a big part in improving the feel. Um, yeah, it's still uh, it's still giving me. I'm still doing. I don't think I fixed the edge detection. Yeah, no, it hadn't been fixed at that point. Uh, what was your report on him? <laughs> Wait, why didn't you do a report about me? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh yeah, that's way too high. I made these steps a lot lower. And you can see this still has the old. Look at that. These were individually placed meshes. So that's why, so I couldn't, have, I hadn't figured out how to do the corner. And once I learned how to generate a mesh in the editor, that saved me a lot of work. Um, yeah, you know what? The outside doesn't look like it changed too much. I think it's just some of the game feel. That improvement made the changing a lot softer. Okay, what I want to do now is I want to take a look at the latest build that I just put out. So that's kind of cool because every week we're, we sort of look at the old builds and then we look at the current latest. Um, but the current data still keeps changing, so we're not always comparing it to the same one. Um,
Oh, you know what? That's annoying. I'm gonna have to make a new build because the player starts off no. rotated. And that's gonna bug the heck out of me. Look at how much faster I move. Alright. Look at how clean these lines are. Look at that. Look at how clean those lines are. Look at notice how the edges are not drawn over the glass. That's a shader, that's a that's a shadow thing. I gotta talk to Arthur about that. That's not that's not that's not my problem. Notice the new lines. That's good, huh? Um, <laughs> am I in to blame? <laughs> that is an that is the understatement of the year. I gotta show you the new art style. It it makes Manifold Garden look like looks like it makes Manifold Garden look like it belongs in blame. I'll show you. We'll talk about the new art style in just a bit. Then you're you're gonna be super excited about the new art style. Um, you know, it's such just a mock-up. So this is I'm running. You know, you got the. I'm gonna skip outside here. But yeah, you can see so the trees, right? Picking that off. It's not doing a proper closing. Look at how clean that is. Isn't that great? So I am going to, you know, I'm skipping ahead a few places because I want to. check that everything works um well it, it was a netflix production that was a that was a movie i mean netflix produced it so um yeah i mean netflix is the only place you can watch it but they are it's very different from the manga actually it's the movie is like an episode from the manga. And, and I can understand. I don't think the manga would have worked well unless they made like a... It might have worked as like a 10 episode series. But it doesn't... Um, yeah, there's not as much focus on the architecture. Um, yeah, I think, I think the movie worked as a standalone thing. Like... It's not kind. It's not what I was hoping a blame movie would be, but at the same time, I'm like, yeah, I I, I get why you guys did it. It would not have been, uh, you know, I would have loved it if they did like a ten episode. You know, if it was like four hours and just consisted of them like walking silently through this massive architecture, I would have soaked that up. But I'm like, I can see why you made it an episode it, it feels like it could 
lead to more, which is what I'm, which is, which makes me kind of excited. Um, you know, I don't watch a lot of anime. Um, it's eight dollars a month. Um, I'm not as big a fan of Netflix after they removed Peep Show, which is on Amazon Prime, but. <laughs> uh, it's still a work in progress. It's still a work in progress. Oh. testing a few things but yeah I guess you guys can see how it compares to yeah I'm still seeing these shadows I'm not sure what uh Well, you know, we got another one that's going to push it even farther. And I'm excited for that. All right. I think this looks good. Um, all right. You know what? I'm going to actually quit this build. Um, apparently my player character got, this is one of the things that bothered me. Like, I don't know if you noticed when I started, I wasn't facing straight. I was off to the left a bit and I'm like, ah, oh, man, that's gonna, it's gonna drive me crazy. <sighs> okay. All right, hold on. Let me let me fix this. Just make sure it's. Okay, let's let me just run this. Make sure it looks like. And then I want to talk about the new art style. By the way, we do have a Discord. Um, 
And if you like the stream, you should follow the channel. So let's take a look at this. Okay, that's fine. Let me make sure. Uh, <laughs> uh, the game, there's like a place where you can share your work in progress. Um, I post like a new, we have like a beta testing channel. I post like new images, work in progress art style, stuff like that. Does that keep looking like it's? Is it just me or is that starting? Is that putting me? I can't tell, but it looks like it keeps starting me facing, facing to the right a bit. You know what? I'm gonna have to actually wrap up the stream here. Um, but um, what I do want to show you guys, this is the newest art style that we're working with. Um, super excited about it. I think it looks very much like it could be in um, it could be in blame. New art direction. And I think it does not look like antechamber. Like, so, hey, Gruz, I'm actually about to wrap up, but I wanted to talk about this new art style that I'm working on. Um, you know, it's a lot of it is sort of, there's like a slight grain and then that kind of like black white texture. But what I love is that, no, it's for the whole game, but. Look at that, it feels like it belongs in this. You know, it feels like it's something that belongs in, in, the, in, in, the, in the world of blame, which is, um, I'm, I'm really, really excited about that. Cause I was like, ah, yeah, sorry guys. So I had something going on and these people are, they were supposed to be here at two and they're 10 minutes early. Um, so, um, I want to, like, you know, we'll finish this and then, then, but, what's a really, oh yeah, I like, see, that's like a, this is like a super classic anti-chamber shot, right? And I think, um, <laughs> right? And I think this, it doesn't, you know, to me, the game now looks more like this and not like this. Um, so, 
you know, I, I know people keep saying the clean aesthetic, but I think this is this is what's going to be um, really, really great for me. So I'm excited. Um, I know you're hoping to, you know, bring on artists to work with them together. And I will see you all later. <laughs> all right. Have a good one.